Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And thank you so much for joining me on my first ever Mythic Legions review. And I'm really excited about this because I've been interested in this line for quite a long time, but I've tried to stay away for a bit only because, I mean, they look incredible, but I didn't want to buy one and then fall down the rabbit hole because I didn't really feel like it was a line that I necessarily needed. But I bought one and I fell down the rabbit hole, so here we are. And the one that I bought that made me really like these things was a, was a figure called Borier. I bought it down at DesignerCon, and the, the thing that kind of convinced me on these figures is Four Horsemen was down there at DesignerCon, and they had a couple of these figures on display. So you were able to handle them, play with them, and I was really impressed with the articulation. So once I touched one of these figures, I knew I had to buy one. Once I bought one, I knew I had to buy more. So then for this guy, I put him on pre-order because he's a big purple cat, and that is awesome to me and then recently I went to a toy show and there he was so I don't even think these guys have really hit over here yet but somehow this dude at the toy show had one and he was selling it for a little bit over retail I paid like 60 bucks for this which I'm not mad at um, you know it's an early release and I think they're around $50 retail anyway so I was perfectly fine with it but anyways let's get into it this big purple cat dude goes by the name of uh, <laughs> perp lore and i think that's hilarious but yeah this thing looks awesome uh, i do like the way that this packaging looks it is collector friendly you could take the figure out put it back in all that good stuff but it's very simple it feels old school on the side we have a little biography it's really hard to read but basically it says that he's a bad guy and then on the back we got to look at some other figures i'm pretty sure most of these figures have been released you know i'm not an expert on this line or anything but i feel like i've seen a lot of these guys i really want this dude down here he looks really cool. He's a very interesting looking character. And uh, I actually asked my wife to get me that for Christmas. We'll see. We'll see if she comes through. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Is she going to come through or not? But uh, yeah, this is really cool. Really cool packaging. Very simple. But yeah, let's get this guy open and check him out. So before we get too deep into the details, I kind of want to share with you my first impressions as I took this figure out of the box. As soon as you open it up, this thing, you could the quality of it just stands out. It's a beautiful looking figure. The sculpting work is incredible. And I just love this bizarre character design. A big purple cat is just really awesome to me but yeah as soon as you take this figure out it looks and feels nice i don't have any big qc issues on mine um the only major problem i do have is that his legs are a little loose you know but i could probably uh fix that somehow and it would kind of make sense you know it'd be hard for him to kick his leg up anyways with this big old heavy armor but yeah the leg is a little loose so that's the only qc type of issue that i have with this guy and it's not really even like a qc issue it's just you know something that happens sometimes but yeah it's a it's a very impressive figure as soon as you take it out and yeah man these things are just they, they just look so incredible you know they're so different and unique and bizarre especially this guy but yeah i'm just really happy with this and i was very surprised by all the accessories that he comes with because you know this is the figure but you could change it up a lot with these different accessories and uh, we'll talk about those pretty soon here but yeah man right away i'm very impressed with this figure and taking a closer look at the sculpted details starting off with the head i think this came out really really nice i love the sculpted fur on it i just love the facial expression too because he definitely looks like an animal but he still looks intelligent and i think it looks awesome i love the green eyes i think green and purple always look really cool together and the head is pretty much just purple but there is some slight black shading in there as you can see like in the ears and on the top of the head so it's very subtle, but it looks nice. And then for the body, there's no sculpted fur. It's just smooth like a human or whatever. But I think it looks cool. At first, it kind of threw me off because you have the fur and then it goes into skin. But I see why they did it. And there are some additional pieces you could put on here to make it blend in a little bit better. So I think that's awesome. But as far as the sculpting work on the torso and on the skin parts, it's very well done. Look at these muscles, man. This thing looks crazy. The, the sculpted work on here is really nice. And then the arms, they look good too. But I feel like the arms are a little short. Not crazy short, but I feel like it would benefit the figure overall if uh, the arms were just a little bit longer. Not much, just a little bit. But as far as the armored pieces here on the arm, these things look awesome. Check this out. We have like this metallic blue look with some really nice paint details in there. They look really good. And then his apron thing looks really good too. It's like a turquoise kind of color with these gold like studs on it. This all looks really nice. Check this out. And this is all soft plastic, so it does not get in the way of the articulation at all. Back here, we got some more details. And then we have his tail that looks good. And then his lower legs, which are nice too. You got these big, crazy armored boot things. So yeah, these look, these look good, man. 
And just the sculpting work is definitely the strongest part of this figure because this it just looks beautiful. And all of the Mythic Legion figures just look incredible. They're very like eye-catching and very well done. So, you know, Four Horsemen, they, they don't mess around. They, they did a good job on these guys. And he does come with an alternate head that matches the body a little bit better, but I'm still gonna keep it with the cat head, man. I love this cat head. But the ogre head sculpt does look really good. Check that out. I love the detail on it. I love the teeth. Once again, the facial expression is very cool. We've got the green eyes going. And you know what? Honestly, I might just buy two of these guys just so that I could display one as an ogre and one as a cat because I think this is very well done. And once again, it matches the body a little bit better. So that's why they did that. And aside from the alternate head, he does come with a bunch of other cool things that allow you to customize the figure a little bit, starting off with these shoulder pieces. And these look really cool too. The sculpting work on these is just as well done as it is on the other parts of the figure. So these are cool. And they plug right into the back with these pegs. Let's see if I could take this out real quick. Bam, there we go. So there's a peg there, a peg hole, and you could just plug these things into his back and and another really cool add-on piece that he comes with is this neck part and i really like this because it actually has sculpted fur on it so it's not so much of a clash between the head and the torso of the figure and this little armor piece kind of breaks it up it like makes a separation between the two parts so it just doesn't go from fur to skin so i think that works out really nice and i actually like the way that he looks better with this piece than without it i think he looks pretty intimidating and terrifying uh to be honest with you he looks crazy <laughs> and what i like about this is that the shoulder pieces could come off they're just pegged into the back so you have the option to take those off but i honestly think that it looks a lot better with them and they move out of the way so they don't get in the way of the articulation too much so i do like that a lot and as you can see there's little peg holes in the back so these shoulder pieces just plug right into there and there you go, we're good to go. Look at that, that is awesome. And aside from the add-on pieces, he does come with a few more really cool accessories. So let's take a look at those, starting off with the sword. And this thing is really cool because it has a very unique and bizarre design, much like the figure itself. But look at the handle here, this is crazy. And then it has like spikes where the handguard would be. And check out the blade, it has like some hieroglyphics on the blade itself. And the shape of the blade is really crazy too. Looks like it'll jack someone up. On this side too, we have some more hieroglyphics or scripts or whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, I think this sword is really nice and he has no problem holding it, but unfortunately he's not able to hold it with two hands because of the arms and the articulation. So that's something he can't do, that kind of sucks. But he is able to hold it. And then the other accessory he comes with is this really cool looking blade. And I think this is more for the ogre version of the figure. So it looks like it's just a broken branch with a piece of metal like shoved into it. <laughs> it looks very like homemade. So I think that's awesome. And then he comes with a really cool looking shield that has this crazy design on it. Then you have some like green gems on there. Looks really nice. And once again, he has no problem holding this thing. And the way this works is that it's just a handle and a peg and you just peg the handle onto the peg that's sticking out of there. Unfortunately, I was a little too rough with mine and it broke and that's why we have that sloppy glue job in there. So I would advise be very careful with the peg and the handle piece on here. But uh, I do like the shield a lot. I think it's very weird looking and I think the character looks really cool holding onto it. And he does come with this strap that you could put on the figure that you could use to maybe hold onto a sword. But unfortunately, the sword that he comes with is not able to fit into this unless you want to try to force it in there, but I don't want to. And uh, one of the other Mythic Legion figures I have came with this too, so maybe like this is just something they throw in there all the time just so people have extra places to hold their swords, and that's kind of cool, so... I could appreciate that. And now for some size comparisons, we have Perp Lore alongside one of the Mythic Legion Shadow Elf Warriors and one of the Mythic Legion's Ogre figures. And I do plan on doing a couple of videos for these guys here. I got these figures from Empire Toy Shop, so shout out to them. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. They always carry Mythic Legion's figures, so you can check them out. And then next up, we have them alongside the Hasbro Lightning Collection Lord Dracon and one of the articulated icons, White Ninjas. And then here we have them alongside the DC vs. Dark Horse NECA Superman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA Shredder. Next up we have them alongside the Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson and the Marvel Legends Black Knight. Here we have them with the Black Series Boba Fett and the SH Figure Arts Ant-Man. Next we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Endgame Captain America and the 80th Anniversary First Appearance Wolverine. And then here we have them alongside the NECA Shape of Water Amphibian Man and the McFarlane Toys Sub-Zero. 
And then last but not least, of course, we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And as far as the articulation goes, I would say that it's pretty good, but to be honest with you, it's probably the weakest aspect of these figures. The articulation seems a little bit outdated, especially when you consider some of the other things that are out there right now. And I'd have to say that the articulation is probably the weakest aspect of this figure because when you look at it, the sculpt, the accessories, and all that stuff is like next level, but the articulation seems a little bit behind. It seems, it seems kind of old to be honest with you but you know it's not horrible and obviously they kind of like cut out some of the articulation for the sculpt's sake and you know it's a give and take and in this case the sculpt is so incredible i'm not too hung up about the articulation you just got to know what you're getting into they're not the most articulated figures ever there are some really cool things in here that i wasn't expecting but for the most part the articulation is a little basic but it's not bad but let's go ahead and get into it his head is able to move side to side it is on a little ball joint so you get a little bit of tilt which is nice could only go up to about right there then it could look down to about right there and then the torso is actually a point of articulation that i like a lot because there's no ab crunch there's no diaphragm joint or anything like that but he does have a ball joint at the waist and it allows for some pretty nice torso movement and you could actually get a pretty decent crunch out of it so I actually like the torso a lot. And that was one aspect of the figure that I didn't think that I would like too much because actually that's what kept me away from these figures. Aside from the fact I didn't want to jump into a whole nother line. I thought the torsos weren't articulated at all, but it turns out you get some pretty good movement out of that torso joint just with that ball joint at the waist and the way that i found that out was messing at messing with one of these at designer con so that's good stuff man but yeah i like this torso a lot and i love the fact that the sculpt the integrity of the sculpt is maintained but you still get some really good movement out of it so you get some side get him to go back to about right there and then like i said you get a pretty decent crunch it's not the best crunch ever but it's okay, you know, I like that a lot. And then you, obviously you could twist, so that's cool. And then as far as the arms go, I think that's where I, I kind of get a little bit disappointed with the articulation on these figures because these arms kind of remind me of old Hasbro joints. Um, when they first got the Marvel Legends license, they did arms very similar to this. And I'm not a huge fan, but at least they look a lot better on these figures. So that's one positive aspect of it. But let's take a look. So the arm could go all the way around. It could come out to the side to about right there. And let's see here. You could only you can't really bring them in in front of them too much. They could only get to about right there. So I do wish that maybe there was some a little bit of uh, plastic cut out of here so that you could bring the arms forward a little bit because there is no upper bicep swivel. So again, that's one thing that kind of feels outdated. And then he has single jointed elbows. They get uh, a little bit less than 90. And then you have a swivel right there at the elbow. Then you have a swivel at the forearm swivel at the wrist and then a hinge at the wrist so uh, you know now that i think about it i guess only the arms feel like they're outdated because everything else is pretty good like check out the legs they could come out to the side to about right there they could come forward a really nice amount they could come back to right there then you have the upper thigh swivel and at the knee he has a single joint but it does get some pretty good bend as you can see it's not too bad at all and then it also has a swivel at the knee and then for the uh, foot here you have a little ball joint so you have some swivel and then a hinge and then some rocking action and then this tail is able to swivel around because it's on a little ball joint so yeah like i said the articulation is probably the weakest aspect of this figure but i really think it makes up for it in other areas like the sculpt and the accessories so you know overall i'm not too upset about the articulation i just wish there was a little bit more there okay so overall i really really like this figure but to be honest with you there are a couple of things that i dislike but in general i'm very happy to have it and i'm definitely going to start picking up some more mythic legions figures and as far as the negatives go on this figure it's just pretty much the articulation even though i don't think that it's horrible i don't think it's necessarily bad i just wish it was a little bit better but you know that's not really what they're going for with these guys i know the focus is the sculpt and everything and i could respect that and you just got to kind of know that going in he's not going to be super articulated you're not going to get him into the best poses ever and he's not going to be as articulated as some other lines out there and you know if you're okay with that then you're going to love these things and for me i wish there was a little bit more but in general i'm okay with the articulation setup that it has um you know considering that i knew what i was 
getting into when I purchased it. But yeah, I, I wish that I was able to pose them a little bit more, but for what it is, I do like it a lot. And as far as the positives go, this thing looks beautiful. I just love the sculpting work. I love the design. I love all the details on them. I like all the accessories that he comes with. I do wish that he came with multiple hands because it kind of sucks to have him stuck in a gripping pose all the time. So multiple hands would have been cool. But aside from that, I love the accessories that he comes with. I like the options that you have with this guy. He's basically two different characters in one. So, you know, for me, I'll probably end up picking up an extra because I want to have that ogre displayed as well. But yeah, I just love the way this guy looks. I just, like I said, man, the sculpting work is just beautiful. I, I really don't know how, how else to put it. This guy is going to look awesome on the shelf and I can't wait to have more mythic legions to put on a shelf altogether. I'm definitely going to start a shelf just for these guys because I just really like the way that they look. So I'm really happy with this guy and I look forward to getting some more of these. But anyways, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a comment, share the video, all that good stuff. And if you're interested in picking up an odious head i do still have some available so i'll leave a link in the description below for that and also another thing if you want to support the channel be sure to use the amazon links in the description below as well and that's it so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all have a wonderful day peace